Talk about the cooling vest a little bit that you wore. <laughs> the cooling vest. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess if you put a gun to my head and say, like, do you choose form over function? I would say I choose function first. And so I, when we were scouting, I, I knew that we would be shooting, you know, out, outdoors in the sun and it would be warm. And like, um, I don't do that well when it's like hot and humid. I'm more of like a cool weather person. Yeah. So right. I decided to go buy a cooling vest, which I think is pretty cool. Like they use it in different industries for people that work outside. But basically, instead of it being ice packs, there's this gel in there that freezes at a different temperature mm -hmm. so that it's not so cold against your skin. And then it only takes about a half an hour to refreeze it. Um, and so I bought this and I brought it with me to like all of our shooting locations. And it's um, it's a blue, it, it's like a blue, um, you know, vest with like compartments that you can put like the the cooling gel packs in. I can get it if you want. Like, uh, there's behind the scenes uh, pictures I get. I will definitely pull <laughs> to illustrate your. But you're talking you know, about. It, I, obviously it looks dorky. I mean, it's this pretty bright blue vest, and uh, people are like, "Why are you wearing that?" Because sometimes it looks it, it's hot outside, so you're like, "Well, why are you wearing a vest? Does that make you warmer?" And then I would show them, and so. Um, Sam and Steven always gave me a hard time about it because it, it does look dorky. But um, so I would always try to convince people like, see, this is a cool vest. Like you would want one of these because it keeps you cool. And, and, you know, especially when it's hot and they would try to convince them, no, it's just like plain dorky. <laughs> so, so it was fun. It was like I would uh, take it off and let people try it. And, uh, and some people are like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this. And then um, Sam and, and Steven would just roll their eyes at me all the time. <laughs> Because it's kind of like a traffic cone too, right? You could spot it from a mile away. Yeah. Well, in, in that way, it was good too because it's like it was always clear who the director was, like where they were. You could see me from, you know, a mile away. So I, I don't know. Maybe part of being a director is to come up with your distinctive look. And uh, so when I do sound stuff, I always walk around with like, you know, the um, headphones like on my, on my hat. And so that's part of my look. But then uh, so when I'm a director, I have this like blue cooling vest. Oh, I see. Okay, I got it. <laughs> 